Hey, what is up, gamers? Enforcer5150 here, and yes, Assassin's Creed Shadows is here, and it has DLSS4 um, with the app Override. So today, I think we're just going to go ahead and try to get this working on uh, DLSS4 with Assassin's Creed Shadows. And as you can see right now, it's showing support not detected. Um, now, if you're getting this, uh, there's a few things you can try to do. Uh, usually it's just uh, reinstalling or sometimes just closing out NVIDIA app itself. But we're just going to go ahead and look at the app override real quick and see what is actually supported here. All right, so here we go. We can see that Assassin's Creed Shadows has all the great things on here. Now, it's important, very important to let people understand that this the DLSS override feature is not a DLSS swapper. As much as many want it to be, it's really not what it is. It's just games that haven't been able to get the uh, support in it yet. It just lets you use it on games that they actually support and have whitelisted. They being NVIDIA, uh, who they decided, okay, well, we're already going to be putting this in there, so we want it in there. Anyway, um, as you can see, the MV. Now, if you have something that has MV in it, if you have another game here that just has a regular check mark, like uh, you have a check mark here, that means it's already in the game. You do not need to use this uh, the NVIDIA uh, override app. But you know, I have my little thing here, so we don't have to go all the way up to the top. So you do have multi-frame gen for those that have a 50 series. I have the RTX 4080, and I use it on the i7 14700K. So I do not get any of the multi-frame gen. And then we have regular frame gen. We can use the upgraded transformer model for that or the upgraded model. And then with a uh, super resolution, we can use their new transformer model. Now I already played the game. I have two videos that are coming out that use this, the regular stuff in there and the game looks amazing already. So I am kind of excited to see what we get here uh, by turning this on. Uh, you can use DLAA. I highly doubt I will be able to use DLAA even with frame gen on the 4080 because it is insane. I would probably need to be using the multi-frame gen or something like that to be able to get over 60 FPS. Uh, the ray tracing is already upgraded, so the ray tracing that I was using uh, in my videos coming up would already have the ray tracing in it. Anyway, back to the app. Um, as you see, it's showing support not detected. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just force close the app and then see if it comes back up. All right, as you, as you see here, I went ahead and I closed everything, but it's still popping up here. And this is one thing like a lot of people would say, oh, I closed the app, reopened it, it didn't work. You need to actually go to your task manager and then you know just type in NVIDIA and just force close those. And you'll see it'll, they'll, stop popping, they'll start popping back up and be my shadow play helper. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, it'll pop back up. So that's where it will actually reload, reload. And I just did it a few times when it wasn't even going. <laughs> Invalid operation. What do you mean? All right. Uh, my suggestion is always to run it as administrator just to make sure that it goes all the way up. And then we will see if it is going to retrieve anything. And it did not. So now if it doesn't do it after force closing it and everything, you have to actually reinstall the application. Um, and that is kind of a pain, but it, it does work. So it will, you know, if you have any settings, usually it can, it'll save them. Uh, a lot of times it hasn't for me, so I just deal with it. All right, I downloaded a new version right away. It does say beta on it. So like this thing is still beta, even though they said that it's fully released. The app, I, in my opinion, is definitely still beta and they have a ways to go. I do kind of like it. I like some of the features that we get, but it's, unstable and most of the time all right we're just go ahead i'm gonna go through my normal stuff here all right we're gonna go back to graphics and now we're gonna go ahead and refresh it's already refreshing and grabbing everything it wants to use my light room <laughs> and it is still showing unsupported oh there we go yeah it's just not support not detected but it is actually there and We'll just go ahead and select these. And now, ooh, what is that? We can actually change a reduction now. Nice, okay, so they definitely updated this. Uh, you can put it at quality, balanced. So they have some new features with this. Now, before, all we had 
um, for a lot of the games because this game is supposed to have support in in it already. So you only had performance, ultra performance, and then you had um, DLAA. So now we can actually use quality, DLAA, all those things. That is awesome. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, we'll just go on quality for now. I mean, we'll actually put on DLAA. Heck, it, heck with it, 100%. See if we can uh, break our, our computer a little bit. Um, I, I am really curious now. I need to install About again and see if, it, if it's doing it for other games too. Because, well, we have Red, Red, Red Dead Redemption 2 that had it. Let's we'll see if it has it in here. Yes, now we have everything again. Yeah, before we just had DLAA in performance. I love it. Awesome. All right. Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and launch here. It says unable to retrieve settings. Normally, that is because you haven't uh, launched a game yet with it on. Um, and it hasn't been able to get the information. Well, retrieved, this, retrieved it. We'll just go ahead, play from here, and see how this works. All right. So now we have this. We, we have it at DLAA. And we'll be able to tell if our FPS is like super low. If it is like in the 70s, 80s, I'm pretty sure it is not on. Um, right now, I'm not sure if it's actually on. It does not look like it. I went ahead and run the benchmark a little bit. Just to take a look. Yeah, this definitely does not look like it is on. Frame gen is definitely on. The line is freaking out. Okay, it's definitely on. <laughs> yeah, 50s. Oh man, oh man, yeah. Okay, so we're definitely on. It's saying upscaler quality, but it doesn't have the internal uh, information to be able to, you know, say what that is. But we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put it on our, our normal mode on, qual on actual quality or performance first and see how that is. We're not gonna run this full benchmark here, sorry. Uh, we will have a video that has the full benchmark, so keep an eye out for that. Right now, we just want to test the, the app, make sure that everything is actually working. All right, so DLAA 100%, as I was expecting, wasn't going to happen on on here. We're going to go ahead and put on ultra performance mode because ultra performance mode, uh, remember, is for like 8K screens. And it will, uh, the look of the new transformer model in ultra performance actually does really good. And it's supposed to give you us, give us, close to what you would see with the old models of uh, quality. Not all the way up to it, but kind of in between, you know, balanced and quality. And so far with other games, we've definitely been there. So let's go ahead and run this benchmark with the uh, ultra performance on. All right, we're gonna go ahead, run the benchmark. We should have some pretty high FPS in this area. It definitely looks like it is on. And you can see it shows quality here. That's where it gets a little bit confusing. Cause yeah, you can see right now we're at 109. Yeah, this definitely looks like the quality we were on before. A little bit in the background, like on the fence back there, you can definitely tell that it is using that yeah, ultra performance, has that ultra performance look to it. I'm seeing a lot of, you know, you know, not gradation, but where the the quality is just lower and is trying to pull up that you know 480 uh, p uh, image and bringing it up, but that looks really really good for you know basically 480p, you know because it's being upscaled and it just looks great. Yeah, the character detail definitely up there. We have our ray tracing on full and everything. Yeah, the shadows definitely look a little odd, but that is not bad at all. Yeah, and we're getting, you know, 100, 100 frames per second. Now, I was getting around 70s to 80s in quality, and we're going to go ahead and check that out here after this. Uh, like I said, I'm not gonna do a full benchmark here. I just want to take a try to take a look at you know, how this all looks here, and we're not getting any ghosting or anything like that. You know, maybe I'll have to do another video where we just you know compare the old model and the new model. This one, I just wanted to show how to get it enabled and everything. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. We now have this set to quality with the app. I'm gonna run our benchmark here, take a look at it, and I'll, I'll go in game just to take a look as well. 
because you know you don't get the full idea of it in here. Now we're on actual quality with the Nvidia app, and before I was getting like you know between seventy and eighty. Oh yeah, that is really really good, and you can see like the like I said the fence back there looks a lot better now because you know we have some actual quality coming through and there's that skip there it drives me nuts it's not the recording trust me <laughs> it's actually in game 88 86 i'm getting a little bit more i think than i was uh previously like i said we'll definitely do a benchmark of uh this deal it's, it's hard to do i definitely can't do it no commentary because you can't tell what we're actually on <laughs> because the upscaler quality does not change when you're using the app. But yeah, okay, this is the part I want to see, the character detail and the shadows. The shadows are still a little rough, but in quality, like the hair looks great. Everything looks really, really good. And I think we'll have to take a look at the, uh, the actual gameplay a little bit as well. Yeah, this, oh man. This game, I don't know, the, the visual quality has been outstanding. And I've been enjoying the gameplay, honestly. All right, okay, let's go ahead, leave this benchmark. I'm using my controller. I'm just gonna go in my game real quick and take a look at how the quality looks as well. All right, in game, and it is raining. The last time I was here, it was raining. But 80, 87, definitely where we wanna be. The frame gen definitely has a few weird things still, even with the upgraded model. Uh, I kind of wish it wasn't uh, raining right now. We can change season. I did see that we could change the season. Ah, dang, can't do it yet. <laughs> uh, that sucks. But yeah, this looks so good. And I. I think in the uh, the benchmark parts, I, I'll definitely need to uh, do a full comparison. Hopefully, you guys can get this uh, running and get the new Transformer model running, DLSS4. Definitely has some ups and downs. For some people on lower end hardware, it is probably going to tank your FPS a little bit. At least 5 to 7 frames per second. Uh, maybe a little bit more. I've seen a lot of people in some games where it definitely jumped down like almost 30%. So in some cases, it might not be worth uh, using the new uh, the Transformer model because it is you know, doing more than it was before, even in ultra performance mode. But most people are going to be at balance to quality. So that is definitely where uh, I want to be. Like quality for me on the 4080 is definitely a good place. We stay over 60 FPS. We have a good fidelity. And everything just looks great. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. That's all we're going to do for this video today. Make sure you hit that like button. Definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel. Y'all take care and happy gaming.